This is Russell Brand and Jordan Peterson reciting the Lord's Prayer. And for me, as a Christian, this does not represent my faith. And here are six reasons why you should be concerned. Uh -huh. Number one, throughout the prayer, Peterson can't even keep a straight face. Number two, Russell Brand's rebranding. He has repositioned himself after serious SA allegations. It feels more like an attempt to regain public favor than an expression of faith. Number three, a convenient partnership. This collaboration aligns perfectly with Peterson's growing theology-based content, which is now available behind a paywall. Number four, Brand's image as a recovering addict is central to his persona, but his recent actions, including baptizing people in his tidy whities are not representative of the entire recovery community. And speaking from experience as someone who is a pastor, who is a recovering addict, and who was an advocate for mental health recovery, I find this deeply misaligned aligned with the values that I uphold in church and in recovery spaces. Number five, speaking of mental health, Jordan Peterson is also launching a five-part series on depression and anxiety, again, hidden behind the paywall. In the trailer, he says, the probability of tossing the antidepressant into the mix is all of a sudden going to fix your life that are absolutely catastrophically out of order is zero. What does that even mean? As someone who has managed my depression associated with bipolar disorder through medication for 14 years, this this statement is not only inaccurate, it's harmful. His dismissive attitude towards medication is a dangerous oversimplification of mental health treatment. Peterson and Brand appear to be selling snake oil cloaked in spirituality. They're making money, folks. Their recent prayer in Washington, D.C. seems more like a performance than a genuine expression of faith. Red flags all around buyer beware.